In this video, I'll discuss the basic quantum numbers. We're asked to give the values of the quantum numbers associated with the following orbitals, 1s, 2s, and 3d. Well, let's first discuss the, the basic model of an atom, and that is with a nucleus, and then these possible orbitals of an electron, or electrons. So we have the, the nucleus there, and then an atom can be here where the state equals 1, or it can be out here where the state equals 2, or it can be out here where the state equals 3. And uh, that, that number that I have in purple there, that's called the principal quantum number. So you can think of that as the distance from, from the nucleus the principal quantum number, and that's this first number that's listed. And then with, within each of these uh, principal quantum numbers, you can have a subshell. Well, with 1, when n equals 1, you, you don't have subshell. You just have a 1s. You can't have any other subshell. But with the other, with other orbitals, 2, 3, and so on, you can have other subshells. So if you have some subshell, of S or P or D or F or G or H, these are the letters that are used, then you have a quantum number, and I'm going to write this down. It's denoted with an L, and this quantum number is the angular, angular momentum. quantum number, denoted with a, a written L. And that L starts with 0 and then goes up in integers. So 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. So if, if uh, the subshell is S, as we see here, then L will be 0. So that's what we're going to get to on that one. But I've got two more quantum numbers to talk about. And one of those is called the magnetic quantum number. The magnetic quantum number uh, discusses the orientation of the orbital, and it is denoted with m sub l. And the orientation of the orbital, so is it like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, is some of the diagrams that you'll see in textbooks. Uh, the the magnetic quantum number then can can take on the uh, the identity or, or the number of anything from negative l up through zero all the integers up to positive l so for example if l equals one then m sub l would equal negative 1, 0, and positive 1. Okay, so we follow that structure. If L were 2, M sub L could equal negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. All right, and the last quantum number that I won't go too deep into, but it is important to understand that these electrons are so tiny, but they are charged particles after all, and, and so they they warner, uh, garner a lot of uh, respect here. So we have the electron spin. And the electron spin is denoted m sub s. And that can be either positive 1 half or negative 1 half. And real quickly, that just determines or it, it discusses whether the, the electron is spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. So, a lot to think about with these little tiny electrons. So, the four quantum numbers. Okay, so if we have 1s, then let's just run through these. If 1s, then the n equals 1. And the l equals, that's this right here, l equals 0, because the s corresponds to l being 0. Now, m sub l can only equal 0 because it, it falls right there 
in the middle. We don't have any numbers to the left of, or the right of 0 because L is just 0. And M sub S, well, that can be either plus 1 half or negative 1 half. And if, in fact, I am going to just circle that and that's going to be the case for all of these so i don't i'm going i'm not going to rewrite uh m sub s for all of these that's the case for for all of these now with the next one 2s n equals 2 we have l equals 0 again uh m sub l equals 0 again and our ms equals negative 1 half or positive one half. Okay, the last one, 3D, a little bit more interesting here. N equals three. We have a D there. So in this case, L equals two. So that's the, the subshell, uh, L equals two. M sub L, let's go to green here. M sub L. Now, that is similar to our example, but we have L equals uh, even greater than 1. It's L equals 2. So M sub L is negative 2 to negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So all of those possibilities for the magnetic quantum number. And then again, this electron spin, uh, positive 1 half or negative 1 half. So that was some basics on the quantum numbers. If you found this video helpful, as always, consider liking it or sharing it with a friend.